Your project this week is going to be to create a couple of Google Forms, and some of you have had experience with this and some of you haven't, which is fine. When you have this document open, just like the last two weeks, it's important to check through to see what is expected of you. And you can read through here. Each form needs at least eight questions. The topic is your choice. If you want to have it school related, that's great. If you're studying something in science or history or whatever it is, you can create it that way. Or if you want to do one that would maybe have a couple of fun questions in there about hobbies or interests, you could do that too. You can read through the rest of the questions here. It will be important to notice here, you need to have it be multiple choice, uh, text question for the what is your first name, true false, choose from a list. You don't want to give a paragraph text for one of the question choices because we are going to do an add-on which is going to allow you to grade the quiz. So you do really want to think about giving questions in which there are grades attached to it. Now it's kind of just for fun grades but we will work on that. You can read through the directions here. When you get ready to grade it, there's a Fluberu video that I found that it does, she does an excellent job of walking you through this step by step. Number nine, post the URL links to your quizzes on this document. Just like you did for your website, you're going to post that right here. All right, so in order to get started, you're going to, once you're on your drive, you're going to click New, go down to More, and over to Google Forms. Now, Google Forms allows you to create a survey, a test, quiz, whatever you want it to be. Some of your teachers may have used these in the past and we're going to get experience practicing how to create these. The first box you want to leave checked that just requires all South Sioux City Schools log in to view this form. You can check the second box which means when your friends fill it out they have to be logged into their Google account which they would have to be in order to do this. Show progress bar at the bottom of the form pages. That would be if you had multiple pages. We're probably not going to get to multiple pages right now so you can leave that. Shuffle question order, that's up to you. Allow only one response per person, that's up to you as well. I'm going to give mine a title, and mine is going to be, I'm going to call it computer vocab, vocabulary. I'm going to hit enter, it's going to save it. So now under my drive, I now have a computer vocabulary sheet that is going to be my Google form. Form description, if I want to type something here, Please take your time and do your best. Now, you don't have to put that if you don't want to. First question should definitely be, what is your first name? Even though you're collecting it up here, it's a good question to have. That way you can organize your spreadsheet. We will do some good work with our spreadsheets. This should just be a text right there. Required question. If you leave that unchecked, the person could essentially skip over it and then just fill out with no answers. I'm going to hit done. There's my first question. If I need to edit, I can edit right here. If I need to duplicate for some reason, I can duplicate or I can garbage and delete that question. Now I'm going to go down to add item. Here are your choices. Text. Paragraph text won't work very well for what we're trying to do this time. Multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list you can do. You can do scale. Grid time and date don't work that well. You can also insert a video if you had something that you're going to ask them a question about. That would work. And you can insert images. Go to Google Images, find your image that you want, and save it. Alicia Woodhull to the office. And then you can save that if you'd like to. Now next question, it's up to you. I don't want a paragraph text. I might want to do multiple choice. What is a mouse? Now my multiple choice, I'm going to give selections. You want to make obviously one of them the correct choice. So I'm going to say a device used to print. You're going to make up maybe a couple silly ones and then you're going to give them the correct one. Something you use to navigate your computer. Now you would think you'd put the check mark there for the correct answer, you actually don't. You're going to leave it just like that. Advanced settings, I can shuffle the option order so it gets mixed up every time. I'm going to hit done. Now there's the basics for my form. You are going to have to have eight questions. Mine only has two, so you have to add more to yours. Here's a couple quick things to look at. 
change theme. One of the directions here says to change the theme, be creative. That's right here. I'm not going to walk you through every step. You guys are smart enough to figure out how you can change it. You can find new ones. You can customize it. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do with your theme. Go back to edit questions. Now, in order to copy the URL, I'm not copying this. I'm going to view live form. Here's my form. I would right click copy. Then I can go back here, right click paste. Something else I'd like to show you is when you give out your website with the link, you want to click view responses. Now view responses, this is going to be where all of your information is going to come into. So when you give the links to your friends, when they start answering it, you're going to find it right here. Now you'll notice my quiz is called computer vocabulary. The response sheet is called computer vocabulary responses, which then we're going to take this spreadsheet here and we're going to do some really cool things with it, make some charts, make some graphs, be able to run an add-on. We're going to be able to color code everything. There's going to be a lot of things we're going to do with that. And once again, please make sure you keep referring back to that document. Thank you.